Good night, UPP. UPP now more than ever. And I want to welcome you all here tonight, brothers and sisters, to this The Leadership Matters concert. We're going to have a great time tonight. And there's a lot of things in store for you. You know, there's a lot of people who are saying, or uh, who are sitting at the fence. They don't want to go here or they don't want to go there. I want to let them know tonight that politics can work. It can work once you keep your hands, your heart, right, and your head clean. And the people benefit. And under the leadership of the esteemed Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer, you have a team behind him who is committed to making sure that we live up to our motto, which is people first. From all you wonderful people here that I see here tonight, I know by what I'm seeing here that you are standing firm behind this great organization of the United Progressive Party and its leadership, the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer, and standing firm to give us the third term. The opposition is talking about rebuilding. Rebuilding can only happen when it's broken. You people have been very good for the past couple of years with the kind of challenges and the, all the, the, the obstacles that have been in our way, you are still here. With all the world crisis, with Stanford pulling out, with the insurance company falling, and yet people with more resources in other countries have fallen, but yet this little country has still been able to manage its resources and have been still going without anyone losing their jobs. That must be under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. the Honorable Robert Baldwin Spencer and his team. And we commend them and we commend you also. And we want to let you know that the United Progressive Party has a plan, a plan to ensure that we can take care of our foreign and past debts and prepare ourselves to take care of the, our future needs of infrastructure, making sure that the program on the National School Meal continue. And by the end of 2014, it's our intention to make sure that all government primary schools are on the school meal programs. You cannot afford to take any chance, my brothers and sisters. These are serious times. And we're going to call on you to make some serious decisions in not too long. And from what I'm seeing here, your decision is to give the United Progressive Party a third term to make us continue the work that we have been doing to ensure that Antigua develops and be the kind of country that we all want it to be. To take care of our children, the elderly, the disabled. This is the kind of government that I want to be associated with. This is the kind of government that I'm proud to be with. And the men and women who will stand behind the Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer, and the United Progressive Party to ensure we do that and keep ourselves out of the red. We have to stay out of the red. We cannot afford to take any chances. Now we see the light at the end of the tunnel. They want to come in now. We have, we have done everything to make sure that this country move onwards. You cannot afford to take any chance, my brothers and sisters. You know what you have. And yet, in spite of all the difficulties, we have been able to manage the ship and to make sure that things are still OK. You still have your jobs. You're still able to support your kids and still able to do the little things that you need in life. My brothers and sister, I will leave you here tonight to let you know that you are on the right track. Be proud. 
There's nothing for you to be ashamed of. And when they come and tell you all sorts of foolishness, you should be able to let them know all the wonderful things that the United Progressive Party has done for you and keep doing for them also. Because the country is not only for you, my brothers and sisters, but also for those who still want to fight against us. That is the kind of politics that we are pushing. And that is the kind of politics that we need in this country to make sure that at the end of it, Antigua and Barbuda benefit. So my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Stand firm, be watchful and be careful for they will come with all kinds of things to persuade you, but you stand firm and make sure that you give the United Progressive Party under the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer a third term. Do enjoy the rest of this evening, brothers and sisters. God bless you. God bless Antigua and Barbuda. And God bless the United Progressive Party.